Welcome to Roseburg High School's 2011-2012 school year. My name is Dakota McElmurray, and I am this year's Associated Student Body President. I am really excited for this year. You will find great success here at Roseburg High School if you are responsible, honorable, and safe. We have one of the best high schools in the state of Oregon, not only because of our success on the playing fields, or because we have so many extracurricular activities, or because of our amazing teaching staff, or because of our dances and assemblies. We have the greatest high school in Oregon because we have the most incredible student body in the state. Yes, the student body is the key to our success, and we want you all to be included in the classroom, the activities, and the fun that awaits you this year at Roseburg High School. Leadership has provided a video explaining some of the guidelines we all believe will help make for a positive year here at Roseburg High School. Of course, we have created a fun format for you to view these rules. So here it is, Man vs. Wild, Roseburg High School Edition. Thank you. I'm Kangaroo Ben. We're headed to Roseburg High School, located in Roseburg, Oregon, in the Northwest Pacific. It's some rugged terrain here, as you can see with the bumpy ride. But well, I think we're gonna be all right. We're approaching the drop zone, so get ready. because of the way it is. Let's keep moving. Good, good. We found some shade, so we're gonna rest here a minute and see what this place brings. All right, now that we've, we've caught our breath, we've observed our surroundings, let's move. Careful of these. They might catch you in the leg. What we're doing right now is we're gonna look for some water. It's not a lot, but it's enough to get me by. We gotta find some decent shelter. You never know what could be lucky in these caves. Alright, if you look up, we've got the common mountains. Normally I'd climb them. See, I'm in a dire situation. I've gotta find some food. Oh, look at this. These structures here are where the wildlife reside for an hour to an hour and a half each day. Come on, for those of you that are just joining us, we're here in the wild of Roseburg High School, where the survival experts tell me there's seven key rules you've got to follow if you want to succeed and proceed to the real world. They also tell me that there's one certain individual who's having a hard time understanding and following those rules. Ah, let's do this. I think I heard something in here. Let's have a look. Make sure we stay discreet. It's very important that we're not detected. I'm gonna have the camera in, go around, so we can get a better look. And I'll stay here in case things get out of hand. Okay class, it's time to begin. As you can see, having your electronics out 
during class time can result in some horrible consequences. If you're just joining us, the young Samus has just been attacked by a lion for not putting his surf phone away. Let's see what happens. Uh, I'm okay. Oh, he's alive. Just a little blood. He's lying. I probably should have put my cell phone away. He's learning. Oh my god, Sam! What is this? Are you okay? What happened? Did you get mauled by a lion? Oh, where does it hurt? Neck to my arms. Oh, okay, let me fix that. He must be the alpha male to survive this attack. Now go back to class, you'll be fine. He's got this. What a trooper. Sam was just punched by the Roseburg organ gorilla. He didn't put his trash in the trash can. He has to expect that. It's his own fault. As you can see, Sam's trying to recover from breaking the last two rules, which were having his electronics in class and littering. Let's see what he does next. I think I'm gonna be late. Crap! class late and without a pass is you must place your nose here for 10 minutes. Cyrus is broken. Rule number three, always show up to class and always show up on time. Now we're experiencing natural selection in, at its finest. As Cyrus has no way of standing with his nose at that point for 10 minutes straight. He simply cannot. Look at this. This is definitely grass. We know that now. For those of you who are just joining us, I'm Kangaroo Ben, and we're observing the young Samus at Roseburg High School. Here comes young Samus now. Look at him. What a specimen. His vitamins. Let's get a closer look. Oh, young man, you look like you could use some affection. It seems as though there's another creature offering affection to Samus. This breaks rule number four, no PDA. It's long past the time to release. <laughs> Samus has broken rule number four. He's broken rule number four. We're still following Samus, who was attacked by a lion for not putting his electronics away when class began. After that, he littered and was attacked by a gorilla. Following that, he was late to class and was trampled by a large herd. Recently, he was showing affection that is not allowed here at Roseburg High School and was attacked by a bear. Let's see what happens next. Samus has broken rule number five. Always use appropriate language. He's now suffering the consequences by getting bullied by this man freak. <laughs> Young Samus is approaching yet again. Since his recent adventures, his clothes have become quite tattered and inappropriate. Excuse me, stop it, man. You can't wear that kind of clothing at school. Well, then do you have any slippers or pajama bottoms? No, those aren't appropriate either. Where's your ASP card? Don't have one. Here, take my jacket. It can be dressed school appropriate now. Thanks. 
It seems the young Samus has finally learned what it takes to succeed here at Roseburg High School.